Drake, what a song going mainstream. What's up guys, how are you doing? Man, I'm tired. I am seriously fucking tired. Oh, those people, are, they, they make me sad. I'm pretty sure that's a volunteer thing as well. You stand at the side of the road and mark off what type of vehicle goes past. Car, car. Car, car, bike, car. Fucking boring job. Worse is the fucking community speed watch, because that is voluntary. That is people just sat outside their house recording everyone's speed and sending it off to the police to saying this person was doing 34 in a 30. If you're hearing bitterness there, that's because I got caught doing 34 in a 30 by community speed watch. On my 125 as well, so that's even worse. I think I talked about that previously, so I'm just going to leave that one right there. Oh, the roads around here are lovely, but other people use them. That shouldn't happen. If I'm on the road, I want there to be just me on the road. Maybe a couple other bikes. In fact, yes, just other bikes. Fuck the cars. So if you've seen my last video, you'll know I was saying everything's going amazingly right now. And yes, it is. Actually, if you haven't seen that video, please go back and watch it, because for some reason that video flopped. It got 20 views in two days. That is my worst performing video. And it was, it was a good video. It was a really good, it was nice. I was happy. I was enjoying stuff. I got lost. If you haven't, please watch it, because it's, it's depressing me. Oh, it's going to rain. Well, that one cow's like, no, it's not. Some of you might not get that. There's an old, well, sort of like an old wives' tale, a myth, if you will, that uh, if, a ca if a group of cows is laying down in a field, it's going to rain. I don't know why. It's just what people say. And there was just one cow stood up in the middle of them going, nah, fuck you guys. If it rains, that cow is going to feel very silly. And if it doesn't rain, all of the other ones are just going to be ashamed. They miscalculated. Yeah, one of the things I mentioned in the last video was that when everything seems to be going really well, there's normally one big thing that happens to fuck me over again. And it kind of happened, but I'm trying not to let it. I can't really go into full detail about it because I'm keeping a couple of secrets from you guys at the moment. Talk about them later. But basically, one of the things I was trying to do failed it failed badly it was it was not a good day and then when I got home my gazebo you know in my garage gazebo it's just a fucking pop-up gazebo it uh, apparently it was windy that day because my gazebo was not where I left it yes I'll take the second exit at the roundabout in a mile calm down love I hate Google Maps, it talks too much. Not Google Maps, Apple Maps. I hate Apple Maps. I should probably try Google. So yeah, my gazebo was uh, about 10 meters from where I left it. And it was bent, it, was, it wrapped itself around a tree and a metal post. So it's fucked. It is completely fucked. I thought about trying to repair it, but it cannot be done. There's 200 quid down the drain. I've only had it six months. But then again, most people buy a gazebo. They use it for like a few hours at a time, maybe a couple of days at a time. I've, I've had it up for months at a time. The only time that gazebo has actually been taken down is when I lent it to someone. But while the weather was nice, it was up for the full six weeks because I thought, fuck it, I want some shade in the garden. So yeah, I've got to buy myself a new gazebo. That's... Uh, annoying but like I said I'm not gonna let anything bring me down at the moment because I'm enjoying myself oh 
Fuck off, I'm gonna take the second exit. Calm down. Hmm, why don't I do videos when I where I don't actually know where I'm going? It's because of this bitch. But I've, this is the third time I've done this route, so I'm starting to learn it. I recognise parts of it and I know roughly where I'm going. Sort of that way. But it's just a good idea for me to have my maps because this bike drinks a lot of petrol. No, I don't want to get lost. Bear left? Where? I don't see a bear. Come on, National, there it is. There we go. For a very small CC, this bike's got a lot of poke. I say very small. For a fairly mid-range bike. Oh my god, this fucking road. Stop reversing. Thank you. Oh, there's shit all over it as well. Cars in my lane. Oh, we're starting to get a bit of colour back in the scenery again. Because the other day, it fucking hammered it down. On and off, all day. Some places got like a couple of minutes of rain. Where I live, we literally got an entire day on and off. It was so nice. When it actually started raining, I just walked out into the garden, just stood there, opened my arms out wide, and I just stood there going, oh, so nice. We needed a break from that sort of heat. I mean, above 30 for like three days in a row. I'm not used to this. This, this is English summer to me. It's not cold, it's not bacon, it's cloudy with a chance of meatballs. And it's got that, I think it is actually going to rain. Because I'm starting to smell it. Oh yeah, wait for the cars, don't wait for me. Cheers. But yeah, you know you can kind of smell rain. Or you can smell the ground after it rained. You, you know what I mean. There's actually a word for it. I can't remember, it was in Doctor Who. But oh, I've, I missed that smell so much. And it was so nice when it happened. Obviously it meant my nice shiny motorbike, which I cleaned once a week, at least once a week, while the weather was nice. So it was absolutely immaculate. Dirty as fuck again. I'm not happy about that. But oh well, things are still going well at the moment. Things are going surprisingly smooth. There's a fly in my helmet. Fuck off! Oh, son of a bitch! Oh! Why? Why the exact moment I open my visor, another fly just decides to kamikaze into my cheek? Oh, that really fucking hurt. Oh. Another one just tried it. Fuck it, this, this is staying down. It's staying down now. So I don't like wearing glasses in my bike helmet because I don't like the idea of having glass right in front of my face. Yeah, I don't like having glass in front of my eyes because then if I crash, there's a chance it could go in my eyes. But I've had a couple of flies in my eye before and the glasses really do help stop that because it means there's an extra layer of protection. It doesn't stop anything on your cheek though. Where am I going here? Do something. Tell me where I'm going. That way. It went from saying way too much to literally just telling me at the last possible second. Oh, well, that's the point. I haven't had a Bluetooth helmet in this headset. Wait, what? I got that the wrong way around, didn't I? I haven't done a video with me having the Bluetooth headset in this helmet. Because on my AGV, I've always had a Bluetooth headset on that, because that's been my long distance helmet. But I decided to upgrade it, because one of my mates wanted to buy the one I had. Which was a Senna 20S. So I thought, fuck it, I'll buy a pair of 30Ks. So I've now got one on this helmet. 
There's usually no point to that, that's just the, oh, I've got this now. Do with that information as you will. Okay, tell me where I'm going. Tell me where I'm going. <laughs> 